America is not a racist country. Bill and Melinda Gates been pushing hard for the African Americans to get out there and get their jab. Like they give a damn about black folks. The last thing you want is a bidding war between countries for this vaccine. You know, we know there are 60 million healthcare workers around the world who are keeping everybody safe. They deserve to get this vaccine first. And from there, you want to do tiering in various countries to make sure your most vulnerable populations get it. Uh, in, in our country, that would be Blacks and Native Americans, people with underlying health conditions, and the elderly. Let me bring some to your attention. Melinda Gates said, some of the first people who should get the jab are the people with underlying health conditions. The thing is, and I've seen stories on this, some of the people who have gotten a jab have had shortage of breath like 20 minutes after receiving it. They have died a few hours later, even a few short days later. But they always saying that person had underlying health conditions person was obese, the person had diabetes, that person had high blood pressure, sleep apnea, heart problems, etc. And my thing is, they never going to admit the jab has something to do with the death. They may say some of the symptoms are shortage of breath. But in that case, don't you think the person died from that? The bottom line is the point is that if you're not vaccinated to stay home because one of the reasons these cases are surging like this because too many unvaccinated people are doing vaccinated things and don't yes we understand that vaccinated people can still spread the disease but the difference is those people go home and you go to the ICU ward. The country appears to be getting more divided by the day when it comes to the question of should you get the COVID vaccine or not. Recently, our very own Comedy Hype analyst, Pierre, revealed that he had contracted the virus despite being fully vaccinated. Now, the CDC has made it known that if you've received your vaccine, that does not exclude you from getting the disease. But it does improve your chances if you are infected. Pierre received tons of support from his viral video with several other comedians like D.L. Hughley reposting his message. 
Some would take issue with Pierre for suggesting that vaccinated people and unvaccinated people should be segregated. I'll take this time to talk about this COVID thing, man, which I think is really not a hand. Just let you know, I am vaccinated. I've been vaccinated since April, fully vaccinated since April. And I recently caught COVID. So I've been on the low. I didn't want anybody to know about it. Yeah, it was bad. I have underlying conditions. I have diabetes and one kidney. But I also knew that getting a shot didn't mean necessarily I was never going to get COVID. I'll be honest, I didn't think it was going to be as bad as I got. When I got it, I didn't think it would be that bad, but it was. But it wasn't bad enough to be on a ventilator. And it's not bad enough to be dead right now. So I'm going to chalk it up that the vaccine helped me save my life. It helped save my life. I think we should separate ourselves in the living of this world. We should separate ourselves. If you don't want to take COVID, you don't want to take a vaccine, that's fine. But I don't think you should mingle with people who want to take Before I go in on these two fools, D.L. Hewley and P.L., I just want to say this. I'm not encouraging anyone to not get the jab. But what I'm saying is this. I recommend if you don't want to get the jab, take your vitamins. Like I take my daily vitamins to help boost my immune system. I've been taking that for months. Or if you choose to take natural herbs. Um, so that's the way I feel about that. I prefer not to get it, to not get any injection to take over my body and to protect myself which the way I see it and the way it's pretty much coming out that it's not really even effective. I know it's not 100% effective, but at the same time, people who have gotten a jab still can catch COVID. And now they have this Delta variant so, we know that you can still get COVID, even after getting the jab, you can still spread it. In a lot of places, you still have to wear your mask. So, you get the jab, you still can catch COVID, which is called breakthrough infection. I've seen videos of people after the jab 20 minutes later having shortage of breath, end up dying hours later. I don't want to take that chance. And then when something happened, like if I was to take it and something happened to me, the first thing they're going to say, well, he had high blood pressure. He's pre-diabetic. His PSA level was high. Some underlying health condition. Even though I treat my blood pressure, take my pills every day, but it's just Something to throw you off so they won't say that jab was the cause of it. And that's my idea on that. You can't sue them. Your family can't sue them. So back to Pierre and Deal Hewley. Both of them caught COVID. Deal Hewley fell out on stage. I saw the video of that. He spread COVID to his radio show team. But he's the one saying, if you didn't get the jab, you need to stay home. No, he should have stayed home. Pierre saying we need to separate each other. The people that got the jab, the people that didn't get the jab, Separate each other. Foolish.
It really ticks me off hearing this. This fool got the jab knowing he has underlying health conditions. He knew it couldn't keep him from getting COVID, but he thought he'll have less symptoms. But as you heard out his mouth, his was bad. So that didn't work for him. So his defense on getting the jab was, well, well, I knew it couldn't keep me from getting COVID, but I thought it'd keep me from getting less symptoms, but that didn't happen. But one thing, it did. It kept me out of ICU. And it kept me from dying. Some jobs already mandated and they already in some places keeping you out of gyms, keeping you out of restaurants, got to have your jab in order to fly and all that BS. The thing is, once they start messing with the grocery stores and making all these jobs mandatory, That's when it's going to be a problem. They're keeping people out of these grocery stores unless you got the jab. That's when it's going to be a problem they ain't going to want to have. It's going to get ugly. Trust me. Because I already know what's going to happen. People are not going to go for it. That's a problem they ain't going to want to deal with. So, you know... I just wish, you know, these people just leave people alone. If you decide not to get it, stop acting funny towards them. If you don't want people in your house that didn't get the jab, that's one thing. Or wear your mask or whatever. But when you start, you know, saying, hey, you can't come in here. You can't come in this restaurant. You can't come in the gym. You can't fly and all this mess. I don't know if they mess with the cruises and the trains yet. But like I said, once they start messing with the grocery stores, that's when it's going to get real deep. I just got one more thing to say before I leave. Where the hell is Tiffany Dover? Thanks for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channels. J. Goodfellow 56 and Ultimate Underground Collection. UUC for life. Yeah! Don't. <laughs>